I think the thing is, I'm like, what are we in? Like three, three years in? And I don't know, am I doing well? Am I not? What's going on here? Offering assistance. Yeah, Standing that'd be by. nice. Also, I've got some, some free, who are you coming into the United States without my fucking permission, you dick. Uh, let's do something about that. How, oh, you, you, you are a good administration girl. Hello. Hello. Hello there. An astronaut. Ooh. Ready for orders. I wonder if we can. At your service. Acknowledged. Who has the most? You Standing have the most investigation. Orders. You have Ready. the second most investigation. Okay, you investigate that person. We'll see what they're up to. Thank you. Standing by for orders. What's the op? You are okay. You are going to try to increase loyalty. I think we can spend a little. I make sure they're on our side. Ready to go. I have built a new ha a bit, no, not hab station around Mars. The idea being that if we complete the construction module, then we can like use that as a base to expand our operations. Things like mines and stuff that we need to be built there. So that's my thinking there. Um, I just genuinely don't know if if like what we're doing here is uh, if we you know is 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 this good? No idea. Uh, I need to send you we'll investigate. See what we can find. Yeah, Ready. where are the aliens? Your orders. Oh, in Canada. Oh, oh, yeah, you're definitely an alien, aren't you? Where to? I mean, we swatted the aliens. Just don't know how to actually, you know, kill the fuckers. That's kind of the problem. Let's investigate target. you. So that's where we are at the minute. Sort of trying to, trying to expand to Mars. Chase that's right. Mission to. If you must. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, hello. We will save the world. What do you want? You want the. <laughs> Uh, no. Nope. No sorry, Bob. What have you got? Ooh. Space mining. I would like space mining. Space tech. More boost. Ooh, more boost is nice. Sir, uh, you have a lot of nice shit that I should really start thinking about stealing. Um, but no, none of that. Lending my expertise. None of that. I we're believe just, they'll stay loyal to the we're cause. just boosting stuff up at the moment and trying to do our mission to Mars. I have new information. Then they can clean or cook or restock supplies. If they're eating my food, sleeping in my beds, and using my latrines, they'll damn well have to work for it. Chairman Soren van Beek during labor negotiations regarding diamond miners' families. Jesus Christ. We're such a pile of assholes. Um, biotechnology involves the modification and implementation of living organisms in the name of improving the human experience. Through the terminal, though the terminology is relatively new, the field itself has existed for as long as humans have relied on agriculture and animal domestication. The earliest forms of biotechnology include crossbreeding and artificial selection, and it has since come to encompass medicine, textiles, and fuel. Modern biotech makes changes on a cellular and even molecular level, but with the same key intent, improving upon Mother Nature and bending her further to humanity's will. In the face of challenges and opportunities posed by the alien arrival, we must push the boundaries of biotech further than ever before. Our latest breakthroughs enable us to create and refine new forms of life intended to meet humanity's ever-growing need for food and fuel to fight disease and ease suffering, and to res restore our planet's health. Naturally, potential applications of biological warfare are also a consideration. <laughs> of course they would be. Okay, we're going to go for cybernetics. There, so then we can get cybernetic implants. Booyah, that's what he wants. That's that's the bad boy. That's the bad boy we want, isn't it? Uh, good. Because that lets us sort of like uh, boost up our, our counters a little bit more. And I think that's that's mostly what I want to be doing. And we we do have another another station in orbit. Where are we? There we are. We've got some uh, life science labs, which are going to help with our welfare priority. 
because the United States is fucking just a fucking it's fragmented I mean it has got better or worse absent cohesion in this nation will change by 0 0.1 per month until it reaches a rest value of zero <laughs> Uh, the lowest value has been the nation's people are fragmented or even tribal. Yeah, okay, well, good. But our inequality is dropping. Slowly, and it's getting there. And everything else is on the up. So, well, apart from, you know, knowledge and also cohesion but still you know we're, we're part i mean in fact i'm gonna do some direct investment i'm gonna directly invest in welfare boom that should hopefully help it a little bit more i mean you know eventually it'll what what is a good value i mean you know quite change by uh, per investment point in welfare but right okay uh high value simulation doesn't have a middle class inequality grows a little by uh, well, because of a right resource regeneration can transfer uh, is countered by the welfare project. Right, so we, we are countering it at the moment. Right, it's going down. It's going down. It's better. It's better, but it still needs work. Um, but I'm hoping that we can sort of you know get 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 our shit together. Maybe uh, you really want us to take China. Unfortunately, we don't have any control. Well, our control points are how 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 viable is it? Not very. Like. I mean, that's not the worst thing, because if we can't take China, then no one else can. And frankly, I'm not against that. Science would tell us that we are nothing more than vibrating atoms. Everything in life is vibration, as Einstein put it. I put it to you that he was a duplicitous charlatan. Superior Judith Howe, Eternal Source, Introductory Video. Einstein's fake news. That's, uh... I mean, that is a stance to take. Since the dawn of the rocket age, our efforts to reach space have been limited to chemical propulsion and all the inherent inefficiency and risk that entails. It is to electromagnetics that we must now look instead, essentially jolting our craft through space. This is thanks to a curious quality in electromagnetics that sees them vibrate when cooled to very low temperatures. While that is in itself scarcely a new discovery, a breakthrough which enables us to contain this vibration and then send it in a specific direction very much is. When applied to experimental supercooled superconducting magnets, made to vibrate some 400,000 times per second, this jolt can carry our spacecraft further and faster than chemical-based methods. With further refinement, this method of propulsion could see our craft potentially reach 1% of the speed of light. An unimpressive figure on paper, perhaps, but in practice, it is a significant leap forward. There we go. Well, exciting times, potentially, if we can get some actual ships built uh, we do have we do have a hab no a station we have a station in high orbit which does have a space dock so do i need a supply dock like does a space dock do the same thing uh also functions as a supply depot. Okay, so that's that. We don't, we don't, we don't need that. That's fine. Construction module. Oh, that. How much power? That's. This produces te right. So if I build, hang on. If I build another solar collector, build that in space, and a construction module, build that in space. Okay. Let's see, let's see what that does, I guess. Worth a punt? Any species capable of contacting us 
would have overcome the petty divisions that plague humanity, allowing them to call out as one voice. We should therefore use all the means at our disposal to demonstrate that we too are a united and harmonious race. Chancellor Li Qingzhao, archival footage from the International Model UN Debate. Yeah, good luck with that. Modern neural networks are computational learning and predictive modeling systems predominantly used for speech and image recognition, medical diagnoses, and even spam filtering. New advancements in this field draw from biotechnology, seeking to make them behave more like a human mind. This dramatically increases their range of applications and renders them capable of recognizing and understanding far more of the world around them. What are, in effect, digital yet non-sentient brains can solve the previous the unsolvable, whether it be deciphering the mysteries of the cosmos, curing the most stubborn of diseases, or simply easing many of the tiny burdens and inconveniences that complicate our lives, such as recognizing plants, directing air travel. I don't think like I would consider directing air travel air traffic like a tiny burden generally, or generating the text for video games. Input oh video game writers you're in trouble. Importantly, these next generational neural networks are also a crucial stepping stone towards true artificial intelligence. Self-repairing software. It's like Windows, right? You do the Windows fixing thing and then it comes up and goes, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. All right. Well, that's, that's all very good. Now, I'm currently assaulting Turkey because the servants, Turkey is probably their most powerful country. Um, so what we're doing is we're hitting it with a public opinion campaign. So we've got that on side. We're trying to increase unrest because they have got themselves defended here. So they have, uh, what's that thing got? Like protected their, their control point. But what we can do is potentially cause a uh, coup d'etat. Long live the revolution. There we go. And that will then flip all of the control points. Meanwhile, uh, we've also contraband scanners. Okay, that guy could be useful. Um, we've also unified quite a, quite a lot of the, the little countries around Russia into the Eurasian Alliance. So... Take, no, that, that, those are new ones I've taken. Right, so it was like uh, Uzbekistan, I think. We've like amalgamated in. And then we took these off of the servant. So we had uh, that place and Tajikistan, that one. So we're, we're now going to merge those into us as well. So we grab those off the servants. We're going to merge those in. But first, we need to try and take out Turkey. Turkey has given them an army. And uh, I don't want them having an army, to be brutally honest. I don't think ha them having an army is in my best interests. Okay, now we've got the cybernetics. That's kind of what I was looking for, uh, which is great. Uh, Externalised costs? No. What do I want? I want this one. This is what I want. It's very expensive, but I think it's uh, it's worth it. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to stop that for a minute. What we're, get, we're, we're going to increase that. How long till that? Twenty twenty nine. Okay, let's do that. I'll be oh, right. We'll get guerrilla warfare in fourteen in the fourteenth of February. However, what we can do now is we can buy all these. Do now. If I, if I put the loyalty, I can always see what their loyalty is, but reduce it by five. And I can already see what their loyalty is, so I don't need to do that. But I can basically, like, just give you... Plus one everything. Plus one espionage. Bosh, right? So that costs me a little bit of money. However, it gives, effectively, plus one across the board. Which just means that everything's going to be slightly easier to complete. And I mean, even if... Even if it's like, you know, increasing it to a four. 
which may not seem great, but it, it's still something. Uh, intelligent assistant, yes. So everyone just, just gets a little bit, a little bit extra, a little bit more. Which is, uh, which is great. I don't know, there's probably like others, other thingies you can add to the right. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Further up the tech tree. But like, you know, 18 administration. Great. Great. I mean, Dewey's already got 25 because he's a, uh, he's a bit of a beast. You could have a two. If we had a two. But we do have a two. Uh, increases unity. Not really that useful. I don't... Well, I guess we could slap some of these. Are you a criminal? You are a criminal. But we don't have... Yeah, we got... I got CERN stolen from me. The fucking... The servants nick CERN from me. Bastards, they're probably annoyed by what I'm doing in Turkey. I'm really trying to take Turkey down, but it's uh, it's proving a, nut, a tough nut to crack. The servants have, have some of North Africa, a little bit of South America, uh, but overall, they're not doing particularly well. I've also got uh, Indonesia. So um, probably, probably need to keep an eye on that. Uh, the Academy have got India, as per usual, and uh, Humanity First, sort of controlling some of the the Middle East there. A few bits in Africa, and of course they have uh, the European Union as well. Although, with that said, the Resistance has been busy controlling a lot of a lot of Central Europe. Obviously, the servants do have uh, United Kingdom as well, which isn't great, but not much we can do about that at the moment. They are. They are way too tricky. Although, it would, uh, the US, I'm getting inequality down. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, now, uh, I've also been busy on Mars. That's right. So we've got... Uh, now, uh, the solar the solar collectors, because Mars is further away from the sun, are less effective. Which means I need three of the buggers to power... A, a mining complex. However, I have two mining complexes starting up, plus we have a construction no, uh, module in orbit around Mars. That's all. Awesome. It's going to take a little while to set up, but once it is set up, we, we should be good to go. And we should be getting lots of... Uh, the fission platform kit. Uh, I would like to steal that. But at that point, we, we should have resources pouring in. And then we can start thinking about building actual ships. We have gained an agent. I may, okay, so what we did here, I found uh, an academy agent, counsellor, who had very low loyalty. Now, it takes a little while so you have to investigate them multiple times to work out what their loyalty is. But he had very low loyalty. I hit him. I've turned him over to my side. Um, so, gain all the factions detail and control over where the council will see a fail of mission. Mr. Kane, we arouse too much suspicion. Okay, so. Oh, look here. You can see this guy. He's now my little bitch. And uh, I think he gives me money and stuff. So... That's fun. Ooh, look at all this stuff he's got. Uh, so he is a government. That's useful. He's got 25 administration, which is uh, which is pretty pretty legit. And although he's still on their side, I can now decide whether he fails or. To be honest, like fail missions was such as so they they can potentially notice he's been turned. And cleaning things up. Now, Trisha was locked up for a while by the servants. I am slightly concerned she may have been turned, but so far it doesn't she seems fine. So I'm not 
I think uh, we, we rescued her pretty quickly after she, she got Having locked up, mission. so I think we're probably fine. Uh, but uh, something just to keep in mind. How are we doing for tech? So we are getting transitional coordination. That's going to be finished on 29th of August this year. That's nice. Research is continuing. We can see how far we are up the sort of like the tech tree. We're getting sort of like the habs and stuff. Uh, but I think what I want to try and do and uh, is, is quite ballsy. But we're going to try and see if we can occupy. Oh shit, the resistance are grabbing it. We need to get in there. We need to get in and grab China. Although, to be honest, the resistance having it isn't as bad. As long as the servants don't get it, I don't care. If the servants get it, we're in deep shit. The resistance, that's not necessarily Kings something to worry about. Ah, oh, Fucking hell. Okay, October 2027. We have... Completed our... Hang on, where are we? Don't... That's Earth... Mars. There we are. Okay. Okay, so we've got our outpost mining complex. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I really should be building fission piles. They produce a lot more power, but I can't build them now without ruining that. So, I guess we're stuck with it for the minute. Still, this is going to give me a massive boost in resources. Oh, holy shit. Here's like, what we found. I'm not getting 1, 1. 1.8, 1. 1.4, 3.1. So we've got positive space resources across the board. Now that's great. Uh, but, you know, we need more, basically. Because it's already costing me a lot to... Uh, the fuck? Have you built a thing on the... Oh, you motherfucker. Have I probed that? I'm planning to probe it. Do I want to do that? Oh, I'm probably fine. Uh, a lot of this is filling up. I wouldn't mind going for this one, actually. Utopia Planetia. I can put, a, like, a star dock there, can't I? Shipyards. That sounds good. Uh, so, do I want to do that? E yes. Yes. We're going to do that. So... We've now got four bases on on Mars, and that is supplying us with the resources that we so desperately needed. Okay, it's all it's all coming together. I just need more resources because I'm spending a lot of resources on. I mean, so that's daily income. So monthly, we're making fifty four point three. And we get 25% bonus to that, which is fucking amazing. We can also sell these resources. So if we want to make some money, we can just sell them. Like the fizzles, we get uh, five money per unit, which we don't actually have very many of. But like, they, we've got 428 of the base metals. And then 0.5 too. So actually, you know, we could, if we, if we needed money desperately, we could sell them. But at the moment, we just want to kind of like hold on to them as much as possible. So things are starting to sort of like, you know, we're getting there, right? We're at, we're at Mars. Um, I think what we might need is like... So we're... I'm starting to research things like the false space commands. So this will give us have faults less likely blah blah we've got the upgrade to the habs as well if we want it so for example we go to earth and we go to like uh is it this one this one has the dot it does have a dock so we could upgrade this it will cost two control so i'm kind of thinking that's probably not worth it not at the moment. How do I get more? So I've got, we've got mission controls, but how do we get more? Do we have? Is that an Earth thing? Can we change that? Is there technology we should be doing? Also, and I don't want to brag, but uh, I think I've managed to fix the United States. So uh, you're welcome. And if you would like to consider me for president, then don't, because frankly, it's been a lot of work, and I don't have the time. However. 
you may notice that the flawed democracy is getting better. It's it's less. There's less unrest. Um, GDP is down slightly, but it, it goes up and down. And to be honest, the ups are better than the downs. So we are we're, we're fixing that. That's resolved. Uh, we've got more money coming in. The tech's a little bit down, but actually that's that's been going up for quite a while. Uh, the the mill tech is going up. We've got more people. It's advanced. It's gone to sectarian, which means that the cohesion's increasing, and uh, the inequality is now down to moderate. So, Biden, if you're watching, I have no doubt you are. What else are you going to be doing? All you needed to do, whack more pips in welfare. That's basically it, right? Stop spoils, right? Fuck the elites. Tell fucking Jeff Bezos to get fucked, all right? Right, fuck that. Slap the three pips in the welfare, and Bob's your uncle. Fixed, right? Give it. Then all you need is a Dewey. Ready for my mission. There's Dewey. Dewey, fucking great. We're getting him to advise the US. He's fucking fixing everything. So there we go. The United States solved. Have I won the game? I mean, yeah, there's still aliens there, but I feel like fixing the US is a is a big. It's a big part of it. Meanwhile, if we go over to the United Kingdom, um, which is currently under the thrall of the servants, uh, like full de okay, that's that's getting slightly worse. It is very peaceful though. They do have a couple of nukes. Uh, it, it, inequality is increasing. Uh, their holy shit, their education's insane. They don't have anything in fucking. Oh, they do have knowledge. They do have knowledge. I mean, one thing you will say about the servants is they, they don't tend to, like, scoop out money out of the economy very much. But it's currently a battle between the servants and the academy, which is is fine. The resistance does have... a They control the mass media. Uh, the academy control the corporations. But uh, the servants call the legislature and the executive, which is obviously a little bit tricky. The servants have been consolidating a little bit more control. Um... I I do think the servants seem to get more they they seem to be better at keeping their agents loyal and also any coups they seem to potentially get free control points from that. So basically they're good at they're very good at influencing things on uh on earth. So you do have to keep an eye out for them. I really tried to take out Turkey. It just didn't work. Uh, I was battering away at it, and it just, uh, just didn't. so I, and to be honest, I was going to try and get China, but I decided, you know what, it's it's fine. I'm happy with what I got. I did go grab Mexico though, and I could potentially, I'm tempted to go and see if I can grab Canada. Maybe I could get Canada to rebel. I mean, it's not in their nature, but it's a potential. We could get them to try and rebel, throw off the yoke of their oppressors. Currently, humanity first. Uh, Project Exodus and the Servants, weirdly. And uh, what I would like to do is sort of merge North America into one big union, like we have the, the Eurasian. Or what I need to do I'm here. is set Getting national policy with a couple of Ready you guys. Oh, what? Taking it to them. Ready where, to go. where is the bad thing? Ready for uh, my mission. Over in, okay, over in China. That's fine. Standing by for orders. Can't control you. I need to set national policy. Because what we need to On do to is we've got a Your orders. couple of countries down here that we need to merge together. Russia's doing very well. Uh, inequality is dropping. Uh, the, the cohesion is is getting better. It says it's dropping, but it has actually, it's actually kind of moving in the right direction. Uh, the arrows sometimes don't fully denote what is actually happening, but we, we do have a little bit more unrest there. And uh, the authoritarianism is increasing, but, you know, there's only so much you can do. Still, at least the United States is on the right path now. And if we can, like, you know, get Russia in the same place, then at least we've got a couple of countries that are really sort of like pump, you know, giving us a lot of money, giving us a lot of resources. We are getting three opinion a day, or three influence a day, which is not too bad. Uh, 1.2 ops, which is okay. It's kept like, staying at a reasonable level. The money's not too bad. Uh, boost is good. We just need a bit more mission control. So, I mean, at least here, we've got the big boost there. So, it is going up, but... Maybe we put a little bit more into that. If we do a little bit more into that, just because we could use some more mission control, couldn't we? 
have I built too many too many stations? Maybe. I don't know. The problem is, I don't really know what I'm doing in this game. I'm just winging it. And uh, so far, it's fine. 